The other big story we're following tonight, another blood clot case is being investigated following a Johnson & Johnson vaccine, but this time it's local and it was deadly. The Oregon Health Authority says a woman in her 50s died this month after receiving the single dose shot. We do want to keep this in perspective though. More than 7 million people have gotten this vaccine across the country so far. This is the second death reported and we know at least five other women have reported severe side effects. Fox 12's Camilla Ortiz joins us live now with what we know about this Oregon case and how other Johnson & Johnson recipients are reacting. Well, Nora, state health leaders gave the sad update this afternoon. This is the only Oregon case they're aware of. And again, while we know reports of these serious blood clots are extremely rare, we mentioned the numbers already, this most recent case hits closer to home and has some other J&J &J recipients a little more concerned. But at this time, we do not know whether the Oregon woman's death is related to the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. But that's exactly what the CDC is investigating after an Oregon woman died with a blood clot and low platelets this month, developing symptoms around two weeks after her Johnson & Johnson dose, according to the Oregon Health Authority. The woman got her shot prior to the nationwide pause on the vaccine on April 13th. Senior advisor Dr. Shimmy Sharif couldn't specify what Oregon County this happened in or where the woman got her dose, but said she showed the same symptoms present in the other six cases being investigated nationwide, including one other death. The main symptoms uh, across all the cases identified so far are headache. Um, some people had abdominal pain, some people had back aches, depending on the location of the clotting event. That's not something Alexis Airy is happy to hear, telling me she got her Johnson & Johnson dose in Cascade Locks on April 11th and is still feeling some of these red flag symptoms. Ever since I've had that shot, just my bones don't feel right. My muscles and my bones. Ari says she's also dealing with migraines, purple swollen feet and small purple dots and bruises all over her body. I'm hoping that I did the right thing, not the wrong thing, because <laughs> if I did the wrong thing, that was definitely a mistake I won't be able to ever take back. That's the same sentiment Krista Stone has. She got her J&J &J shot just a couple days before Ari did, telling me the news that an Oregon woman has died is tough to swallow. It could happen anywhere, but when you go, wow, this is in Oregon. Did she go to the same one that I went to? Stone says she experienced normal symptoms after her shot and All feels right. fine now, but hopes the CDC vaccine advisors set to meet Friday to discuss the Johnson & Johnson vaccine pause think carefully about their decision. To me, I would have stopped it, you know, because they clearly know it's women between the ages of 18 and 46 or something. Find why? Out of the approximate 87,000 people who have gotten a J&J &J dose in Oregon, the OHA says this is the only case they're aware of that is being investigated. And important to note here that the investigations of all these cases, including this one here in Oregon, are ongoing. They have not definitively been linked to the Johnson & Johnson vaccine just yet. Health officials say if you got the J&J &J shot, don't panic. Just monitor your symptoms closely for up to three weeks after your shot. The symptoms in all of these rare known cases being looked at developed within two weeks after the shot. In studio, Camilla Ortiz, Fox 12 Oregon.